मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू रिलीज ट्यूटोरियल्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ फाइबर्स देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड यूजेस नाउ द नेक्स्ट हाफ ऑफ आवर चैप्टर इज प्लास्टिक we all are aware of this word plastic nowadays the things which we see around us is mostly made up of plastics from morning to evening we go through many things of plastics bucket chair pen your bags pouch comb toothbrush even the, even some furniture items are also now available in plastic form so what is plastic actually see just like the fibers synthetic fibers plastics are also one type of polymer it is also made up of many monomers combined together end to end and form a large molecule okay so first of all plastic is a polymer made up of many monomers combined together end to end in a large number they form a long chain plastic is a synthetic material synthetic means produced artificial which on heating become soft and can be molded into desired shape and hardened means made hard to provide durable items so is one type of artificial material which on heating become soft and can be molded into desired shape and size okay which is hardened and produce domestic or industrial items which is durable means long lasting one of the property present in this synthetic material is plasticity already we have gone through one word called elasticity elasticity means the property of a substance elasticity means a property of a substance by virtue of which it regain their original shape and size on removing force let me write the definition of elasticity again elasticity is a property by virtue of which means due to which substance regain their original shape and size on releasing force means when you remove the force applied 
the substance go back to its original shape and size that is called as elasticity but what is plasticity this is the property by virtue of which a substance can be easily molded into thin sheets or drawn into fibers on heating so this is the property of a substance that when you heat the substance if the substance can be molded into thin sheets or the fibers is one type of molding property that the substance can be molded into any type of shape and size permanently for example the plastic bucket which we use for example just for example okay so you can see the shape of that bucket so it was actually molded that the substance first of all heated converted into soft material and then it is molded into that shape then hardened to use to give the permanent shape it can be converted into thin sheets it can be converted into thin fibers long fibers on heating so whenever you heat the substance and if the substance can be molded easily into any shape then such such property is called as plasticity and this is the main property of plastic okay there are two types of plastic mainly thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic what do you mean by thermoplastic the plastic which can be easily get deformed on heating and can be bent easy the substance means this type of plastic can easily get deformed once for example you have one of the plastic item when you hit that plastic item that plastic again becomes soft deformed means become soft and again you can mold it into another shape means another item can be produced such type of plastics which easily can deformed on heating and bend easily they become soft on heating such type of plastics are called as thermoplastics what do you mean by thermosetting plastic these are the plastic which once molded into one particular shape do not get deformed do not get deformed means they do not get soft on heating and 
cannot be molded again. So this is one type of permanent plastic. That once you form one of the item made from thermosetting plastic, it will not get deformed on heating. They will not get soft on heating. So they cannot be molded again into another item. Thermoplastics are the plastics which can easily get soft on heating. They can easily get deformed on heating. They can be remolded again and again repeatedly. But this thermosetting plastic, setting means they already set itself in one particular shape and size. So they do not get deformed on heating and they do not, they cannot be remolded again. What here uh, we add here, what we can add here that they can be remolded again and again means repeated use can be done of thermoplastic okay actually we are actually making the list of what the differences between these two as well as their their properties what is the effect of heat so as we have seen here that when you heat this, it becomes soft. And what is the effect of heat here? As we can see, they are they do not get soft. On heating. In other way, you can say that thermo setting plastics have a strong tendency to bear the temperature. They do not lose their shape and size on higher temperature up to certain extent. Thermoplastics can lose their shape and size at higher temperature. What about the toughness? Obviously, thermoplastics are less tough and thermo setting plastics are more tough they are hard actually as compared to the thermoplastics thermo setting plastics are more tough and rigid rigid means they maintain their shape and size on higher temperature also What is the effect of temperature again same thing they are less resistant to high temperatures because at high temperature they lose their shape and size but here they are more temperature resistant so less effect can be seen on thermosetting plastic of temperature thermoplastics can be recycled and remolded repeatedly Whereas thermo setting plastics cannot be recycled because they cannot become soft on heating and they cannot be converted into another item. Some examples here of thermoplastic, the most common plastic polythene. Another common plastic is PVC, poly, vinyl, chloride, the full form of PVC here. Some examples of thermosetting plastic, bakelite. 
मेलामाइन फॉर्मिका टाइप ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स थर्मोसेटिंग प्लास्टिक्स आर नॉर्मली यूज्ड वेयर द रिजिडनेस इज रिक्वायर्ड टफनेस इज रिक्वायर्ड हार्डनेस इज रिक्वायर्ड विनो पॉलिश पॉलिश इन प्लास्टिक इट्स वेरी सॉफ्ट इट्स नॉट हार्ड बट दीज आर द हार्ड मटेरियल जस्ट लाइक व्हाट द बकेट व्हिच वी सी मग व्हिच वी सी पीवीसी प्लास्टिक पॉली विनाइल क्लोराइड ओके सो दिस ऑल अबाउट द टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स थर्मो प्लास्टिक्स एंड थर्मो सेटिंग प्लास्टिक्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज अबाउट जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ प्लास्टिक्स फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी प्लास्टिक्स आर नॉन रिएक्टिव मीन्स दे आर इनर्ट इनर्ट मीन्स नॉन रिएक्टिव देर इज नो इफेक्ट ऑफ एयर नो इफेक्ट ऑफ वॉटर जस्ट लाइक वी नो दैट द मेटल्स लाइक आयरन कॉपर जिंक get oxidized they get rusted eventually the metals eaten away but plastics are non reactive so they do not perform any type of chemical reaction with the surrounding air water or some chemicals in short metal metallic materials normally get corroded after some time whereas plastics do not get corroded so they are durable they are long lasting therefore we use for example water pipelines are mainly made up of what pvc because water is continuously passing from that pipeline in place of pvc if you have used the iron pipeline the steel pipeline so that that metal get gradually get corroded so we need to replace them after some regular interval of time whereas once you fit pvc pipes in place of iron pipes for taking water from one place to another so that pvc will not get corroded so i think the life long you can use that pipelines sanitary fittings water tanks you know the syntax tanks are available in the market in place of that plastic if you use the steel material or any any other metallic material due to continuous contact with water they get corroded but pvc do not get affected by water that is why it is used for that purpose pvc is also used to make soles of shoes sandals raincoats handbags pouches okay curtains etc so pvc is used because plastics are non reactive pvc is used in place of some metallic materials another important characteristics is plastics are light weight light weighted metallic bodies are heavy steel bodies are heavy but these plastic materials are quite light in weight and the best example for that is thermocol it's very light in weight and that is why it is used to make disposable items like disposable cups dishes packaging material to pack the mobile phones to pack TVs refrigerators washing machines we use this thermocol because it is light in weight third plastics are strong and durable okay first of all thermosetting plastics 
we know that thermo setting plastics are molded into permanent shape they are hard enough okay examples are melamine type of thermo setting plastic which is used to make dinnerware decorative items kitchen wares fire resistant fabrics so many uses of melamine plastics are there polythene the thermo plastic actually which is used to form carry bags school bags cello taps also called as adhesive taps pipelines to carry fluids from one place to another that pipeline uh, the soft pipeline if you remember the soft pipeline which we used to sprinkle water on our veranda or backyard or on the garden rigid pipeline is actually made up of pvc but the soft pipeline is made from what polythene so next example is of pvc again pvc is used to make many domestic items toys tiles furniture items bottles some rigid pipelines are there many such items are produced from pvc because of its durability and strength fourth important characteristics or fourth important property is that they are the poor conductors of heat they do not conduct heat easily that is why bakelite type of plastic is used to make handles of utensils in kitchen so one of the vessel is uh, placed on the stove to heat something or to cook something so their handle is made up of bakelite so that that handle is not going to conduct heat so it will not become hot so it is easy to carry that is why bakelite plastic is used there one more is polystyrene okay polystyrene is a thermal insulator thermal insulator means uh, it is not going to conduct a small amount of heat also it's exactly the non conductor of heat and that is why it is used to used in refrigerators air coolers and mainly thermos flask we know the use of thermos the thermos is a jug or a vessel in which whatever the type of substance you fill that remains at the same temperature for a long time i think you have seen some ice box in which the ice is kept the picture is shown into your textbook given the picture of bakelite handle is also given that the handles of cookers and also the non sticks ice box so once you fill the ice once you once you place the ice in the ice box heat from the surrounding cannot enter in the vessel so the temperature of ice remains as it is okay next property that they are the poor conductors of electricity also 
they do not conduct electric current from it that is why again bakelite plastic is used to make electrical switches plugs electric holders Uh, the pins we have seen, the plugs we have seen, the sockets, the switchboard we have seen, they are all made up of bakelite type of plastic but because they do not conduct electricity. Okay. Sixth property is that they are inert, already we discussed. They are chemically totally non reactive. That is why it is used to fill food particles. Some, some particular type of plastics are totally non-reactive. So it can be used to form vessels in which the foods can be stored. Because if the food reacts with the substance, it forms a poisonous. But, but these plastics are totally non-reactive. So the quality of food remains as it is in such type of container. I think you remember that. I think you know that we use some particular type of plastics ba plastic bags to store mangoes or some other vegetables for long time in the uh, freezer so that plastic bags are totally non-reactive so they do not affect the quality of food okay as well as some non-sticks non-sticks non-stick pan you have seen i think at your home uh, they are made up of Teflon material. Teflon material. So whatever the oil you add or water you add for cooking, it is not going to react with the substance. So the quality of food remains as it is. Seventh property, they are insoluble. in water plastics are insoluble in water so we can easily store water in the containers made from plastic very short use one more characteristics that highly plastics are highly inflammable highly inflammable means they can catch fire easily they burn easily okay so whenever we are dealing with the plastic items we have to take care that it should not get burned on burning they produces poisonous gases pollutant gases which pollute the atmosphere which pollute our environment okay so deal with this characteristics carefully so there are totally eight general properties we have discussed non-reactivity lightweight strong and durable poor conductors of heat poor conductors of electricity they are inert so that therefore the teflon is used as non-sticks they are insoluble in water so the water can be easily stored they are highly inflammable also besides all these plastics are cheaper as compared to the other materials which we use in our regular life that is why the use of plastic is increasing gradually at the same time we have to take care that plastics are again non biodegradable we will uh, discuss this topic in the next lecture actually but let me give you some hint they are non biodegradable so the use of plastic increasing the pollution problem how to dispose them how to destroy them so the next topic will be about plastic and the environment how it affect the environment see students you have to read all these topics you have to read the 
topics carefully and you have to remember the examples like tackle that used to make handles and melaman used to make inner wares and the kitchen wares what is the use of pvc what is the use of polythene you have to read them and make a note please best of luck